So, um, it's a Sunday. Nowhere is open. So, I was trying to figure out how to get. I got a 13 by 65 by 6 on my um, Hustler 72 inch. I was trying to figure out how to. I was going to get the um, change the tires. So, I went and found some tires at um, Tractor Supply. And. I thought I was gonna be able to push them, you know, once you let all the air out, take the valve stem out um, to push it and get it. But that bead wouldn't come loose. So what I did, this is what I did. I'm gonna show you the one I already got off and then I'm gonna show you, show you me getting the other one off. So this is just a little quick tip that I thought of while I was trying to figure out how to freaking do it. Hold on. So as you can see, I got one bead broke. One of the tires. See. 1365 saying um by six so I got it broke so I'm gonna show y'all how I did it. A vice. So so this side broke so I'm gonna do the other one now. So I still gotta break this bead right here on one side. I would have broke one bead. So I'm gonna loosen it back up. Turn the tie around. Turn the tire around. So this side I already broke. So what I do right here, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but so I put a piece of wood in here. Yeah. Okay. Of course, keep the thing. So of course, just like on a tire machine. So. Yeah. You already know how to get the tires off, but I'm gonna just do that just for the sake of it. Do it just for, do it just for the sake of it, just in case you might don't know how. I had like at least I'm gonna say ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six plugs in this tire. So I didn't even realize what was going on. But I had to get back out and cut some lines. So I just I don't know what I ran over. I had that many holes in there one time. Oh yeah, be careful that these come out. You could uh, you could put tape on them, um, but they will come out of you. Don't watch them. They'll come out, but be careful with that. That would look terrible. Okay, got one on. Ain't got it aired up yet though, but we're gonna put one. This side right here going pretty easy. It ain't really much to it. A little pressure. See that one went on pretty good. Now, the other side, it's a little bit more complicated for me anyway. So what I decided to do was use the vise again. So I'm gonna use the vise again. Yeah. Put this, cause the other side is on. This side 
in. Get a little detergent on there if you want to. Uh, I don't think it's necessary, but it might help make it a little bit easier. So, get that bottom piece on there. And then get it coasted in the vise so it won't come out. Hold on. Ah, uh, my bad. That's what you do when you do raw footage. You got raw footage and no goddamn cameras or nothing. You gotta use your phone. But anyways, so you gotta, of course, keep going up crying and playing with it. But you wanna make sure this tie is back. So if you don't, you won't get that bitch on. You gotta keep it back so I can have some room. This vice on isn't stable, y'all. Sorry about that. There you go, we back. And I might edit it, might not. Oh well. So, get in there. Hold on. Get some steady. There we go. Stay up with it. Yeah. Got this one. I learned on YouTube. Now I want to see if it works. So, interesting. So, what I think we'll do is let me see. Yeah. 
That's good, ladies and gentlemen. We got a new tire. We got a new tire. Ah, uh, yeah. Just for the sake of it, on this one, I'm gonna put something on this because I don't like how this is going into the groove of the tire. So what we'll do is we'll put something up under it like that. That's just, I don't know. This is like it make more sense to me. Try to move it. Thing that I'd rather put catch that and put a hold on the tire. Nope, I gotta go a little tighter. So I have to move this out the way. This is what they're going on. They're going back on my baby. All right, and that's how you do it. <laughs>